Hey guys, this is uh, TCG Addict. Opening up another bundle for the TCG Addict eBay store, uh, new eBay store, and as a result, needs a lot of product. Um, slowing, they're selling relatively slowly, but that's to be expected with all these customs, additional barriers to shipping, things like that internationally, which I try my best to minimize. Uh, in terms of those costs. Anyways, I just love opening product and uh, haven't gotten any great deals on booster boxes recently, but I did get a great deal on bundles, and I love cold time bundles. I opened one yesterday, and I'm going to open another one today and hopefully get some cool stuff for the store. And for that reason, we're filming. Uh, as a quick summary, uh, if you guys have seen it or you haven't seen it, well, you know, I don't want to spoil it necessarily, but we got some really solid rares Here's Elvis Warmaster on top um, that will be on the store from the last bundle opening. I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but why do I love opening these bundles? Simple. There's just so much value. Well, so much value. Eh. Kaldheim, there's a lot of value. The problem is there aren't any sweet, common, uncommon. It's not like Kamigawa, you know, where you get stuff like Secluded Courtyard as an uncommon, Zendikar Rising, which is the best, Malakir Rebirth, Balaged Recovery. You don't get anything like that. I have mine from yesterday, so I don't need that one. However, you do get a lot of cool stuff in the form of snow-covered lands, which are in demand, always. And uh, you just have some amazing rares. So even if the common uncommons are nothing special, uh, and for me that's always so important in a set to have good common uncommons, uh, you do have some great supporting rares. Just a lot of depth in the rare category, as my first bundle opening will show. Almost every other pack was a hit, you know, of a 4 to $7 hit. So, let me just put these out quick. Doesn't need to look too pretty. Um, the other thing about these bundles, if you're going to get a bundle, and you if, if it's the same price as other bundles, right? If a Kaldheim bundle is comparable with Crimson Vow or any of the other new bundles, get Kaldheim. Why do I say that? First of all, look at this beauty. This is the best, and I know I just showed this in the other bundle video. If you watch that, this will be redundant, but it is the nicest oversized D20 in existence in terms of these bundles. Where's the uh, 20? The Kaldheim symbol. Am I blind? Am I just unable to find it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There it is. Um, and then you get an actually usable rare. Like... <laughs> A good solid rare TCG player three to four dollars. I mean, two to four dollars. It's hard to say what it actually sells for of the normal version. This is the alt art foil version, which somehow is a little worth a little less. But the point is, you get a really good rare with the 20 foil and on you know, non foil lands. So, this right here is value. Just the die and the pack is probably the best value of any bundle. Actually, I know that for sure. It is the best value of any bundle. Um, I don't know if they'll sell, but they should. I mean, they're just, it's just such a good deal. Anyway, so I'll use it as a weight for now on the back here, along with the die. Let's jump straight to it. So one thing is missing. Those are my gloves, but, uh, you know, I just can't afford to keep doing the gloves. No, I'm kidding. I, I just, I don't know where they are. Um, I'd have to buy some new ones, but I thought they're so excessive anyways. If, if one person watches this and says, hey, you should wear gloves. That's the reason I buy from your eBay store. Then never again will you see me without gloves. But I sanitize, so my hands aren't very oily, at least not for the next 10 minutes. Okay, so I talk too much. I'm sorry. What are we looking for? Mass Vandal would be nice. Otherwise, not a whole lot of commons. Uncommons, Bloodline Pretender, Binding the Old Gods. There's a couple. Uh, not a whole lot. And, uh, and then, of course, we got the great rares. Um, the Comas to Coil, so there are good tokens. The Cat token, Comas Coil, this is a nice showcase. You know what? I'm going to give this, this is like a pretty decent card. I'm going to move these over here. And uh, I am trying to build a set of the showcases, and so, you know, that's pretty much as good as it gets. Son of a gun for me in terms of these showcases. There's a Carter Dorm Scourge or whatever. That one's pretty good too. That's a perfect fit. My goodness, I am so not organized right now. I apologize, guys. But I never am. I mean, this is the most amateurish video I'm sure you guys have ever seen in terms of the quality. I'm just shooting it on my iPhone. I'm not editing it. I just upload it straight to YouTube. It's just a log 
a log for those of you on my store who are buying a product. I just want you to know where it comes from. And I only sell, I think that does differentiate me. I don't buy collections. Oops, what do we have? Nice. Oh, shit. What a good rare. And here I was blabbing. Oh, man. All right. What a great rare. This is actually my first Toski, uh, believe it or not. Wow. What a great start. Here's where I wish I had gloves on because, uh, I, my opinion, this card is worth it. I love this card. Playing this card, collecting this card, whatever it is. There we go. It is Belgian, so sometimes those cards are slightly miscut, but in this case, nothing. Beautiful, perfect condition. Pack fresh, near mint mint. I've stopped calling things mint. <laughs> I used to have that, just in case you guys were wondering if you saw some of my earlier listings. I just, I decided I'm not, I'm not the, the guy to call that, you know. Um, put lands over here, and we'll put bulk here. Um, I'm just not the guy to call that. I don't, I, I don't, maybe I missed something, I don't know. All my cards are packed fresh, that I can promise you. None of them. I am not buying collections and reselling. I'm buying boxes. It's a loss. It's a losing game. I can promise you that too. Uh, but I just love opening product, and uh, I'm not some big YouTuber. I can't afford to open for other people, but if I can sell some of the contents, then I can support my hobby. I'm happy with that, right? What else could you want? All right, let's go through these pretty quickly. That's not a bad common, but I wish there were some juicy commons in this set to, like, just to, to give it a little extra kick. Oh, there you go. That guy's all right. And a rare, that rare is In Search of Greatness. That's a new one for me. I don't know if I've ever if I've ever pulled this. Um, for that reason, I'm fairly certain it is bulk because I, I, would, I would know if it's one of the top ones. Woodland Chasm, though. Woodland Chasm is worthy of a sleeve. This is what I really, this is why I, I feel confident buying a bundle at bundle prices. You know, if you can get them for like 35, that's amazing, obviously, if you can get it at that price. Um, it's still more expensive, you'd say, per pack, but, um, anyways, two reasons. One, because you get this. This has value. It's undeniable. Oops. Anybody who wants to argue otherwise, there's a ton of value here. Some of the land, some of the just non-foil island, mountain, etc., because they aren't in the packs normally, are selling, if you just look at MTG Stocks, TCG Player, selling for, like, more than 50 cents, and you get 20 lands in here. Uh, 40 lands, and 20 of them are foil. I mean, the value is clearly there. And, um... And then in each pack, in terms of buying Caldheim in general, while you don't have common uncommons, you get the Snowlands. And, uh, you know, that's something. It's it's obviously not going to be quite as good as, like, Dominaria, United, Stained Glass Lands, or um, Theros Beyond Death, the Nyx Lands, right? Those are going to be a step above, obviously, but uh, I can get a little closer, can I? Saw it coming. This is actually another pretty good uncommon here. All right. A mythic? <gasps> Whoa! Look at that. Kaya the Inexorable in Borderless. You know, I don't know if she's, like, super valuable anymore, but Borderless? Come on. Uh, she, I mean, she is valuable, but, like, I remember this card being, like, 30 bucks. I don't know if I'm just making that up. Damn. What a beauty. What an absolute beauty. Oh man, I absolutely love it. Let me let me get this thing in a case first and foremost. And a snow covered swamp. Oh right. All right, guys. You know, very slightly miscut unfortunately in the upper right corner right here if you can see it. For that reason, it's not near mint plus. Damn it. But it is still beautiful. It's still a great card, and I love it in Borderless. Oh, man, what a pack. These bundles, man. I, I need to just... I, I'm going to start mass buying Kaldheim. I love Kaldheim. I know I can't... One bundle doesn't make a set, but... Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this. Now, Redain the Worthy. Not a great rare, but I have this bundle up on eBay where I accidentally put Redain. I confused him with someone else. And uh, I'm going to now, if anybody's looking at that, I'm going to add this foil to that lot at the same price that it's trading at right now. Um, man, not a terrible pack. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Kaya pays for the whole pack. But um, I'm just going to, I think most of these basic snowlands, I'm just going to, I'm going to 
sleep up because uh, they're all they're all valuable. Um, they all have some value. All right, Kaya, that was nice. That was very appreciated. All right, I'm sorry. I, I, need, I just need to like straighten things out. If they're not, you know, if it doesn't look good to me, and and I, I mean, clearly my my bat barrier of what looks good is pretty warped because I know this is all very amateur. Uh, maybe if like more than one person views this video, I'll try to be a little bit more professional. But as it stands, this is literally just a log to document the cards I open and uh, what's on the store. All right. Ooh, a null isn't a bad common. Nice, that's the best common. <laughs> that's not saying much. I'm just realizing the reason this is messed up I should have over here the tokens, and then down here the kind of okay commons and uncommons. Mass Vandal. All right, to the uncommons. Ooh, Blood Sky Berserker, all right. Ascent of the Worthy, what do we got behind it? A rare, that rare is Mystic Reflection. Uh, don't think that's anything, but uh, you know, we just got Kaya and before that Toski, so I don't need anything. Snow Covered Swamp and an Arena Code, which we throw away. Uh, again, all the bulk. If you've watched any video, I'm sorry I've said it a million times, but all the bulk is claimable with your order. Just say, hey, give me Mystic Reflection, please, along with whatever. Now, if you buy something a little spicier, you get something spicier. Um, and because if you're watching this, you're one of my first orders, go ahead. Even if you make a low value order, get some spiciness with your order. So you can, you know, buy a dollar card, request a piece of bulk on that list that's worth a dollar. Uh, I, might, I might accept that. Just gonna showcase the art of it because it is beautiful. Here we go. And I think on YouTube you're gonna get this like weird iPhone bar. You're not gonna even see the whole thing, so I may as well do this really close. And what do we got? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Ooh, I mean, I don't know this card. Uh but oh no, I do. This card is amazing. What is happening? Oh my god, what is happening with this part? What kind of bundle, these two bundles, oh my gosh, I need to go back and buy all the bundles that my supplier has because what the hell? Unreal, showcase mythic, great mythic to pull. I'm gonna put that before I drop it or something by accident. I, don't, I can't nick it, don't wanna touch it. I just want this to be, boom, ice tunnel, that's nice. Let me just put everything away for now. Nah, throw this away, look at this, my goodness. Oh man, oh man, we are just getting hit after hit after hit. A little bit miscentered or uncentered there, uh, a little uncentered there too. But you know, you're not grading this card necessarily. It's just like a solid seven dollar hit at least. Um, I don't know what it is in Europe. I'll put it for what whatever it, the, you know sort of. But oh man, beautiful. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? Look at this. In one bundle, four packs in, five packs in, halfway through, we get a borderless mythic and a showcase mythic, and Toski, one of the better rares in the set. This is like, I don't even know. I don't know what to do, guys. This is amazing. This is, uh, you know, I thought after that last bundle, if it, which is also uploaded. Um, I thought, no way, can't do better than that. Not possible. Um, well, of course it's possible to do better, but I just mean I was preparing myself to have a bad bundle to follow um, because that's just how it is, law of averages. If you have one good bundle, right, eventually you're going to have a bad bundle, especially if they're all from the same case, at least that's my theory. And uh, my gosh, I am really just nice, nice. And we get a, an uncommon showcase, which I'll, I'll sleeve up here in just one second, but first we have to find out what's underneath. Already two mythics. No way you can get like three mythics. The rare is Old Growth Troll. I don't think that's anything. Nice snow-covered island. All right. Honestly, these four packs could contain nothing, and I'd be very happy with how this opening went. You know, any time I have like a pretty solid opening, I start just worrying. I start worrying that you know, right around the corner is going to be that next just awful opening where you get absolutely... Wait a second. Old Growth Troll. Hold on. Hold on. 
Hold on, this is a decent card. What am I doing? I'm just, I'm too much in my head. That Snow Covered Island I was just so happy about. This is a really decent card, so my mistake there. Um, let's leave this up. I think this qualifies as a hit for sure. I mean, I hate putting it over Halvar, God of Battle Showcase, but. All right, so two Mythics in a bundle. That's basically as good as you can expect. I have opened a lot of bundles and I've never had three Mythics. Uh, I've heard of people, though, who have done really well, and that's why I think they can be a lot, you know, more crazy, or on average crazier. Bloodline Pretender, first one in uh, the two that we've done here. That's nice. I'll, I'll probably sleeve it. My goal is to have a play set of this at some point, uh, or a couple play sets, rather. I love the art on Valkyrie Sword. Let's put that with Mask Vandal. Okay, and then what do we have behind it? One more uncommon. Oh, nice. Narfi Betrayer King, which we also have in foil from before. And the rare is Dragonkin Berserker. And that's another bulk to add to the group, I believe. Unless I am now confusing this with something else. Um, I can check later. But for now, that's bulk. Nice. Snow Covered for What? Beautiful. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Nice, guys. Nice. Man, the Snow Covered Lands is why we're here. All these additional things are just, you know, icing on the cake. <laughs> um, let's leave these up. And, of course, the snow-covered swamp and foil. I'm probably going to throw in these foils if you guys are going to buy the packets uh, or the um, bundles of snow-covered lands. And I'll just price them like a normal one, uh, just as, like, a little extra spice. Um, because I'm not, I'm going to have, like, very odd bundles. Like, instead of you know, four play sets of each type. It's like whatever I have, I'm selling. So uh, to make up for that weirdness, I'll just throw in the foils, count them as regulars, and price them accordingly. Snakeskin Veil, I believe, is also a pretty good common. And it sees the spoils is, too. I mean, I always put Mass Vandal as number one. X. This is also a good one. But realistically, what's the difference between a 27 cent common and a 17 cent common, or a 20 cent common? Those are just as good and may sell even faster. Oh, this is, I like Grey Hall Star on them, but what do we have under this? Another rare, and that rare is Crippling Fear. New, new for me. Um, I'm assuming it's nothing. Uh, again, I'll double check everything later. Snow Covered Island, beautiful. Angel, oh, this is a sweet token. Um, snow cat or coma's coil token what am I doing oh the snow this is bulk this is the island all right I gotta fix this sorry guys this video might be a little longer it's funny I thought I did so much explaining in the first video that this video would be shorter than the first one and it may be longer then the first bundle I opened, which was uh, yesterday, and uploaded same day, prize this. Oops, not a good look. All right, this stuff has to be perfect here. This is our little showcase panel with just some really unique stuff. All right, unique. I mean, you know, normally in 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 draft, I mean, I've opened draft boosters too, and uh, I don't remember ever getting a mythic in showcase. Uh, no, that was from a set booster, and neither in borderless for the Kaya. So. That is cool stuff. All right, let's speed up a bit. I'll just go really fast through these. Here we are, Colossal Plow. Nice, that's a good uncommon. I'll put that in the good uncommon area. The rare is Blood on the Snow and a Snow Covered Mountain. All right, so uh, this is fairly good, I know for sure. I mean, some of these others might be too, but I'll put that in the special pile for now, the special common uncommon pile. And uh, Colossal Plow is actually probably a pretty good one too, but I'll just put those away for now. Sort through all this later. I don't know about Blood on the Snow. I would like to think this was a good one. I do remember at one time this selling for something. Well... I don't want to take, for that extra time I may have taken you, if this is something uh, and I missed it, I missed it. And if you watch a video, that's your card.
All right, guys, last pack. I can't ask for anything. We already have two Mythics. Uh, but uh, it would be cool to get something anyways. Behold the Multiverse. I think this is like a fairly good common. As good as commons can get. Same as Jess Parasentinel. You know, I, I mean, it's probably not worth it. But play sets available instead of bulk rares if you want. Oops, was this a, uh, no, that's a common. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a little extra time to enjoy this because, you know, this is it. This is the last pack of the bundle, then I have no product to open for a few days. All right. Okay. Whew, guys, here it is. This is it. Last pack. Three Mythic pack. Three Mythic bundle, I mean. Nope, it is a rare. And that rare is nothing. I don't think that's anything. All right, guys, let me do a recap. So ultimately, this didn't end up being so crazy compared to the other one, which just had a couple more hits. These had higher value hits, but um, let's just uh, add it all up. Anyways, I'm very happy with this bundle. I'm not complaining. And uh, here we go, quick summary. So I probably didn't put as many aside as I should have. There's definitely better common uncommons in here. Um, again, I'll make play sets of these, and if you order something from me, you can request play sets of these guys, right? Um, I think that's fair. Uh, maybe something like Bloodline Pretender, you have to open something with like a little bit of value to get this. But um, anyways, uh, in case there's any interest, I think I did finally complete the Showcase Uncommon set. So... If you guys want to buy a set of the Uncommons, it'll be a fair price. I just think they look cool. I love the showcase. Next, we go to the Snow-Covered Lands. Um, I love these, obviously, and I'm just going to take the ones that are a little bit more special. Let me see. Yeah, so I only got one foil. I mentioned it already, but I'm going to stick these in with my bundle of Snow-Covered Lands and just price it like a normal land. These are the uh, bulk cards that are claimable with any order for you guys here uh, if you buy something from me including this foil Redane of the Worthy and uh, Redane God of the Worthy and now let's look at the bigger hits um, so higher value than last bundle but fewer of them this is the more minor of the group right old growth foil but boom Halvar God of Battle you kidding me mythic showcase beautiful card um, we got same thing. Oop, wait. No, nope. that there was a blemish there. There is not. It's just a little off centered. We got Kaya the inexorable. I would, I would love to call her. I don't know, just a little white dot. I uh, would love to call her Mint, but there is just some slight factory nick on the right corner, making her just near Mint. But beautiful, right? Unbelievable. Love that card. And then probably the highest value of all of them. We got our buddy Tusky right here. Toski, Bearer of Secrets. Beautiful, beautiful. So I am incredibly happy with this bundle. Um, again, I'm going to be selling this stuff too, which I think is just amazing value. Just Google Reflections of Lit Jara. Look at the non-foil, non-alt art variant. Uh, it's, it's a great card. It's a great card. And then, of course, the spin down. And then, again, 20 lands, 20 foil, 20 non-foil. So 40 total. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it got a little bit longer. For anybody that did end up watching even if you didn't buy something from my eBay store, right? You're like the one person watching this, uh, request something, Re request something, sorry. Um, I'll send it to you. If you saw something that's not one of these big hits that you liked, just give me your address, I'll send you some cards. Um, yeah, all right guys, thanks so much. And uh, well, till the next opening.